Hi right, guys, quick update this week. Quite simply, I'm on the way out the door. I'm about to go and meet a guy called Bucky um, relating to buying property in Spain. Um, this week's been really, really busy. I've got to admit, um, by the end of next week, we'll be in a new property. The internet's moving over, so that'll be done by then. They contacted today. They've gone and tested the line on the new property, so fingers crossed. The internet's at least as good as here, if not better. Um, as soon as that fiber goes live, which I think will probably be about three months on the new property, um, I'll be happy. Using the fiber will speed everything up so much. Um, also, being able to do live feeds instead of pre-recorded. Um, what else has been going on? Um, we're now renting this property out. This is the one we're living in. We move out um, pretty much next week. There was some water damage done here with the property upstairs, so I've just got to paint the ceilings. I said to the landlord, I'll do it for him. You know, it's just as a gesture. Um, so I'm going to paint that out, and then this one's available. So if somebody wants a nice property in Spain, this this uh, apartment is fantastic. Um, no problems with it whatsoever. Um, it's Location-wise, it's good. Rent's pretty good. Um, get in touch. There's been a few people ask me about it, but nobody's confirmed anything. As soon as somebody confirms it, that's it. It's theirs. Just put the deposit down. It's yours. Um, what else has been going on? Uh, got about twelve properties now for selling, renting, and now start to seriously look at setting up a property development company for renting, selling, renovating, um, doing pretty much anything property related, installing. Um, Installing security alarm systems, fire alarm systems, whatever is needed, aircon. But you've got a good set of people, a good set of workers, and also starting a maid service as well for property cleans. You know, once a week, whatever. There's a lot. There's a lot of people here that are getting on a bit. So there's a lot of people that do need assisted living. Um, a disabled adaptions uh, is something that we're going to be talking about as well. Um, I've got to look at what's available and make a decision whether it's something we move into as well because uh, a lot of the bathrooms and stuff here is old you know a lot of these properties haven't had any adaptions I know the property opposite the one in the middle the guy lost his leg um, well he can't even come here on holiday anymore because it's, it's in the middle it's going upstairs to go in the middle but the bathrooms and everything got no adaptions so we're, we're looking at setting up doing disabled adaptions as well maybe doing some speciality stuff in that in the area uh, so there's a lot of stuff going on uh, work wise I've sort of stepped back from my normal stuff on the internet and everything I've sort of like kids are on holiday you're sort of sat here you know you know where you're sitting right I'll just do an hour doing this and my kids are like want to play this want to do that so I was like okay <laughs> so I spent a lot of time going swimming as well I mean we've been to the pool nearly every day and they're not getting tired of it. They're, they're expecting it. Um, so <laughs> that's another part of life in the new house. Um, the fitness stuff, I haven't been able to do my walking, but I've actually haven't managed the same amount of steps. I'm still doing about at least 6,000 a day, but I've noticed the calorie counts getting picked up because it must be working out with my heart rate and the movements and stuff because obviously I've been moving boxes, been painting, doing everything else and I've lost about half a kilo in the last week as well. So still getting, still burning calories. I'm obviously burning more than I'm taking in, which is always a good sign. Um, and everything else is going well. I've got to admit there's a lot of positive people about it lately as well. There's been a few people contact me about legal issues around property rentals and property ownership and everything's very positive and like now i'm just going to go and shoot shoot off and meet uh, a guy called bucky uh, to talk about buying in spain so there's a lot of stuff going on really 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 busy um but uh, i'm looking forward to at the probably the start of next week starting to put all this together next time you see this there won't be a cabinet behind, it'll be the new office because all the Mac and everything's going, everything else is already gone. Um, we just basically need to get the internet confirmed and this is going. Uh, everything's good to go. But anyway, have a fantastic week everybody. Hope you have a good weekend as well. And anybody who wants to get in touch and just talk about stuff generally as well, please do. You know, if you have any general questions as well, a lot of people go through my Facebook page. Um, it's worth getting in touch. 
There's also been a bit of a release as well for those in Spain relating to the EHIC cards, the healthcare, recognize, recognizing your national insurance contributions and stuff. If you go to the Madrid Facebook page, you'll see a video done by the uh, the ambassador, I think it was, uh, talking about it. Nothing's confirmed, but I think a lot of the stuff people are worried about may actually just stay as it is. I mean, let's be honest, the way the government is going at the moment, they're not really doing anything. Um, so I'm not sure what the, what the, what's going to happen, but Europe wants access to UK, UK wants access to Europe, and a lot of this stuff, I think, like this, they want people to be able to go backwards and forwards. I think a lot of that stuff's just going to stay the same because it benefits everybody. Anyway, guys, take it easy. Speak soon.